Tariq, um, Jolly Cloud, uh, when I first came across you guys, it was like, it, to me, it seemed like an alternative desktop in, uh, in the internet. Um, I understand you kind of are relaunching uh, or supercharging what you do. Could you tell me what you've done with, with, with Jolly Cloud? Sure. So, first, when we started uh, Jolly Cloud, we were just noticing something. Everything I was doing was now in the cloud. I would stop using local program on my computer. I was using Gmail for my Facebook and uh, Google Docs and started. And I felt, oh, with all this content, with all these apps, we can build an entire experience in the cloud. We don't need the traditional OS. Actually, we can do better. We can liberate people from the traditional computing model. So we started uh, uh, Jolie Cloud as a desktop in the cloud, and we paired it with an operating system. So the only thing you needed was basically a browser and a connection to the internet. And uh, we uh, kind of tried to figure out what was the best experience. And uh, our users were pretty much uh, uh, very uh, focusing on telling us, you know what, you've been doing this desktop, but you didn't really finish it. Why don't you actually build the best experience to connect everything in the cloud in one place? So we, we just announced today we relaunched uh, Jolie Cloud as a start page for the cloud with all the things you care about in one place available right now at www.joliecloud.com. Um, the, the actual uh, idea of a start page in the cloud, I mean, this is the thing, it's coinciding with the launch of um, Microsoft's big Windows 8 Play and it's trying to get its head around apps in the cloud. I mean, how will this, like, do you, do you see Jolly Cloud as an alternative to a lot of the other OS's and Plays or, you know, platforms? Or do you see something that just it suits the lifestyle or the work style of the people who, who use this? Well, I think was, uh, we had a lot of uh, ideas within and a vision around Jolly Cloud, but the main one was the cloud is something that is fragmented. And a lot of us see fragmentation as a pain, you know. Uh, we have to go to all these different places. But in the meantime, fragmentation is freedom, is the ability for choice. I want to use the service where I'm going to store my data, where I store my photo, my favorite social network, my bookmark. I want to use this and that to keep my, my articles. I want to have choice. And the only way to have choice is to actually create a unification around all the services. And that's really what's the vision be behind uh, the Jolie Cloud. And just in terms of uh, the company's journey itself at the moment, uh, is the company uh, in a funding route at the moment? Is it, is it revenue positive or profitable at this point, or is it, is, are you still on your journey? We're still on a journey. We're a pre-revenue company, but uh, you know we um, we we've been very lean. You know we we had a very small dedicated team. We're based in in, in France. It is unusual for for a startup. We've been very active using the latest technologies uh, like HTML5, Node.js, all the you know things that are really going to disrupt truly uh, how people are going to use uh, uh, services online. And we end up thinking, well, a few months ago we just said, you know what, we should focus on one thing and make that desktop so awesome that everybody will just flock and say, well, if you, could, if you really want to have the best experience, just go to Jolly Cloud. Um, just a question, how does uh, Jolly Cloud translate into the mobile side of things? I mean, I'm, I'm seeing this uh, work beautifully on a tablet, for example. Um, how, do, how do you see yourselves keeping step with the mobile revolution? So, you know, there's a few things. First, we, we, we had mobile apps, but we decided temporarily to remove them. We're going to relaunch them with a different approach. We see ourselves as a cloud-first company, so we think the data is in the cloud, and the data should be expressed differently on the desktop. It always find the best way to present the data within the, uh, the desktop or the mobile. Of course, we'd love to do things on tablets. You know now a tablet in China is about 35 to 40 dollars, a seven-inch tablet, and next year is going to be even cheaper. And it's it's a revolution. You know, there's about now. Uh, I think iSupply just announced a few days ago. 500 million people are using online storage today and we're going to go up to 1.3 billion uh, in the next coming years so think about the, the next billion of people their life will entirely be in the cloud and it will be on a tablet on a it, they won't think about it's on one thing especially it's in the cloud and then I can access my data either on my computer on my tablet on my phone and on my TV and you have to get this continuous experience you know this seamless experience cross device and that is what the current big companies don't want to, because they have to preserve market share. I mean, you need to have a whole one brand ecosystem to make it work. But I don't think it should be like that, because I want to be able to switch. Again, we come back to the idea of choice. Have choice.